This is part two on why we don't recommend in investing in a traditional 401k. In the previous video, I mentioned four ways that the 401k is failing us. So let's get into reason number one, market volatility. Our new normal since the 90s is extreme market volatility. Well, what does this mean? We have extraordinary high highs in the market followed by extreme low lows. And these vast changes have severe impact on wealth building. People who love the stock market will tell you to buy and hold through turbulent times in the market. And what you'll hear is, don't worry, the market always does this. It'll come back, just stay the course. That strategy really only works when you have a longer time horizon from retirement. So think of people in your 20s, 30s, 40s who are still accumulating wealth. The closer you get to retirement, say five, 10 years out, you need to start to switch your gears from accumulating to now protecting that wealth that you've worked so hard to grow. Lost money is a real opportunity cost. For every dollar you lose, it's no longer earning interest. So let's think back to the Great Recession. From October 2007 to March 2009, the S&P 500 lost 57%. Imagine being retired or close to retirement and losing more than half of the wealth that you've accumulated over your whole lifetime. Well, you'd probably feel stuck that you couldn't sell because you had to get back to where you once were in your accounts. This is how individuals felt back in 2007, 2008, 2009. Because of this, many individuals' retirement timelines were put on hold or just delayed entirely. If those individuals utilized other alternative asset classes to help with retirement planning, they could have avoided some of that loss and still participated in the growth on the upside. Just because you can make up a loss does not mean you should suffer through a loss just to see growth. In the next video, we're going over part three of the 401k mistake series. Make sure you hit the follow or subscribe button so you don't miss out.